Hey guys, it's Alyssa. So today I'm going to be showing you my summer favorites. And um, yeah, so it's basically just things that I've been liking throughout the summer. And I'm going to start with food. <laughs> so I have three food things. And none of these things are really healthy. It's not that, like this is all I've been eating this summer. Like I've had a lot of smoothies and salads and a whole lot of various things. But these are just three things that I found in my pantry that I was like, those were some highlights. So <laughs> first thing is these paleo puffs and they're amazing and only have like let's see like six ingredients so that's pretty good because i've been on this weird like elimination diet this summer and i'm not gonna get into that but this has been something i could eat and they're really good i get the himalayan pink salt ones and i don't think i'm the only one who thinks these are good because one time i went to whole foods and they were all out and i was very sad but um the only thing i would say is like they're not like overly salty, so like they take some getting used to because when I first ate them I was like these have like no taste But like the more you eat them the more like addicting they get and they're like not that bad for you, I guess so Yeah, okay, and then Next thing are these chocolate snackaroons. I may have talked about these actually like in a video I made like two years ago or something, but I just recently started eating them again, and they're just really good and then the last thing is also chocolate, um, but there's no milk in this, so I can't have like dairy unless it's like coconut milk, so that's not dairy. Yeah, so um, I've been eating this chocolate and rumor has it that if it's like 70% or higher or something like that, um, that it's actually like kind of good for you, I guess, I don't know. But yeah, it's just this chocolate, and I get this at Whole Foods, but they also, actually, I get it at Whole Foods and Sprouts, and um, yeah, I know those two places have it. I really prefer the one, I think it's like 60% dark chocolate, or 60% cocoa, and then um, it has like pink Himalayan salt in it, and it's so good, but they don't seem to be carrying it anymore. Also, the one that has raspberries in it. The only thing is, if you are someone who can't have dairy, make sure you like check the back, because some of them do have milk in them, and like, I don't remember what it is exactly that looks different on the front, so that you can tell, but yeah. So just, if that's something of concern for you, I would check that out before you buy this, but otherwise, like, this one doesn't have milk in it, and it's good. So that's my food favorites. Okay, and then let's see. I'm gonna do like media, so like music, um, movies, TV, and then I'll go into like books and stuff. Cause normally I do that at the end, but we're gonna switch it up. So the, let's see, I wrote this down on my phone. Um, well, okay, so for music, I'm gonna actually make a Spotify playlist. And um, if you are following me on Spotify and you're like, she doesn't use Spotify, it's because I um, have a personal account that I use the most, but like, you know how if you set up your Spotify through Facebook, you can't change your username, so like it has my last name, and I don't really want to, you know, put that out there, so I made one for YouTube, and I've made like three playlists or something, but I will um, make one with music I've been liking this summer, that way I don't have to like talk about music, because that could be kind of boring. But moving on to TV, so I have four shows, actually five shows. First is Parenthood. I think I talked about this in like my freshman year favorites video or something because I watched, I started watching it then but there's like seven or eight seasons or something and they're pretty long. And I finished it this summer. It was really good. It's on Netflix so that's always good. Next is So You Think You Can Dance and World of Dance. Those are two just like, I watched, well So You Think You Can Dance I watch like pretty much every summer so it's like a, you know, just like a nostalgic kind of show I guess. I don't know. But um, I've been enjoying that. And then Queer Eye has definitely been my like recent favorite show. I finished it and I'm very sad that I can't like watch new episodes right now, but they're um, supposed to be filming a season three, so yeah. And then the last show I have is um, The Marvelous Miss Maisel, which is on Amazon Prime. And um, it's like, it takes place, I think in the 50s in New York, so that's a good show, yeah. Okay, and then movies. I have three down. I feel like I watched a good number of movies this summer. Not necessarily like going to theaters, but just like um, like downloading movies. I do pay for my movies, I will say that. I don't think I bootlegged any movies this summer, so there's that. But um, first movie and probably like my all-time favorite of the summer was 8th grade. It was so good. 
like honestly pretty relatable um and I, I yeah I don't know it was just really good and I, I loved the cinematography I thought it was you know original and all that um as far as the storyline goes and stuff so a plus movie there and then next is Kings of Summer I watched that like years ago and then I rewatched it because I went through like a Nick Robinson phase yeah I rewatched that and I was like this is such a good movie so put that in there and then um, the last one was Love, Simon, and that movie, like, it was just, like, a good coming-of-age movie. Like, I'm a sucker for anything that's coming-of-age, because that's just, like, I don't know, my favorite stuff to watch. Um, and yeah, I, like, it was one of those movies that I was like, this is good, but I didn't think it was, like, gonna be that great of a movie, like, a movie that I ended up liking that much, but I ended up watching it, like, I think two more times. Possibly three. Yeah, it was it was just a good movie. Feel good movie. Yeah, and then I'm gonna do like books and stuff next. So So the first book is just Simon versus the homo sapiens agenda again I read it because I saw the movie and I was like Kind of liked the characters and all that and honestly, I think I like the movie I Think better than the book, but also there's things that weren't in the movie That like it was nice to have in the book like there was more I mean obviously like there's more to the book than the movie but um, um and this book was honestly just like one of those enjoyable reads um, it wasn't like really like I don't really like to read complicated books and so it was like a good young adult book that felt like there was some substance to it and um, it wasn't And it wasn't some like sci-fi fantasy kind of thing because I don't really like that stuff but I love good young adult reads so this was that book. And then um, the other book was The Mothers, and I'm like pretty positive this isn't a young adult book. Um, I like to think it's not because I'd like to think that I'm getting out of the young adult books, being 20 and all now. But anyway, this was a really good book. Um, I, I don't really want to talk about what it's about because I don't want to like spoil anything, but um, yeah, I don't know. It was just, it was really well written and it kept me going and yeah. I'm really not good at reviewing things, but uh, I would recommend that. And also, it's been like a couple months since I read it, so I'd have to like refresh my memory. Anyway, so I have like a magazine, and this was kind of a spontaneous buy. I actually bought this intending to cut out some of the pictures um, for my dorm room to hang up, and I may still do that. But also, like now that I have it, I don't really want to disassemble it, so there's that. But it's, um, I guess it's just called the album. I think. Honestly, I don't really know what it's called. But it, it's basically Gia Coppola <laughs> um, and like stuff about her and I think she's really cool so that's why I got it and I the pictures inside are really pretty. Let's see, like here's like one spread that I thought was cool. Um, but it's just nice. It's got a lot of pictures and then um, some thoughts on her, a lot of fashion stuff. It's really hard, it's like really long to show, but um, yeah, I don't know. It's just like really cool. Like look at that, that underwater pic, you know? Okay, so if you want some pretty pictures and to learn a little bit about Gia Coppola, get this. It was like $20 at Barnes & Noble. So a little pricey, but I don't know. It was kind of a splurge buy. It was $21.50 actually. Um, yeah, but I'm definitely, like, after I look through it a little bit longer while it's together, I'll probably end up taking some of the pictures out because I think it would be some nice decor. I actually ordered um, a couple prints from Society6. That's what it's called, right? Um, so those will go in my dorm, but um, yeah, I thought that would be a cool, different vibe from last year. Okay, so now I'm going to, I'll do, we'll do shoes. Okay, I've got two pairs. And the first are, um, and these look really dirty, but like when they're on, they don't because like my foot's here, you know. But it's these slides from Vans. Um, I got these, you, you, there's like gum on the bottom. I'm not touching the bottom of that, okay. <laughs> um, I got these to go to Florida, and they've just been a good summer shoe. I don't like sandals, so like this was a good like non-sandal sandal kind of thing you know 
You know what I'm saying? Also, I like Birkenstocks, but like, I needed something besides Birkenstocks because you can't wear that with everything, so those were a good option. And then I got these in my birthday haul and it's these Reeboks. And honestly, this will probably be more of like a fall favorite because I've only had them for a little bit of time. Um, but yeah, they've matched a lot and they're a good shoe. And I have another pair of Reeboks that I've definitely shown on this channel before. Um, and I, I wore those like a ton this summer, like when I was traveling and stuff. Um, I probably should be showing those and not these, but you get the idea. I love Reeboks. Okay, um, let's do, we'll do clothes. Okay, so first thing is shorts and Basically, I have like two pairs here. Um, they're both from Gap, which Gap has been my go-to place for shorts this summer because like I really don't like the really short shorts. So these aren't super short and they're kind of like the, I don't know if you call them like mom jean style or like boyfriend short style. So like they're just like looser and baggier and I liked the distressing on these. And then I have this pair that doesn't have any distressing and yeah, I don't know. I guess I probably should have tried them on, but... Next, I will do t-shirts. So, first thing is just like white t-shirts. Um, I'm gonna show you just this t-shirt. Um, it's from Brandy Melville. And I like this one. I feel like it's not one of the overrated Brandy Melville shirts, but I definitely have some of the overrated ones, so it's whatever. But <laughs> um, this one has been my favorite, and I've just been really liking white t-shirts. I don't know what it is, but... I guess they just match everything and they're nice and chill. So also white kind of makes really white people look like slightly tanner. So maybe that's it. I don't know. And then next is the color yellow, which it's funny that this top is like kind of that too, but it's sort of like, I don't know how, it, not necessarily this one, but like the shade of yellow I found has looked pretty good on me if I do say so myself, but my mom told me it looked good too. So. There's that, but anyway. First one is this yellow top, which I wore this in um, my Summer in the City lookbook, so if you wanna know what this looks like on, you can watch that, but it's just like this kind of material that's, I feel like has sort of been a thing this summer. And you can wear it like off the shoulder. I usually do like semi off, but like mostly off. Okay, and then I got this shirt actually on sale at Urban Outfitters, which we love a good sale. So it's um, like a cropped polo kind of shirt. And I feel like my private school days are really coming out in this shirt, but um, at least the color's different. <laughs> um, but yeah, this shirt, I've worn a lot and I feel like it's nice because it's not just like a plain t-shirt, you know? And this shirt also from my birthday haul, it's a little bit different shade of yellow, but I quickly became a fan. So there's that. I like the little graphic, always a fan of a graphic tee. And then the last fashion favorite I have is um, this sweatshirt I got from PacSun. And it was sort of like a spontaneous buy as well. I went in not thinking I was gonna get anything and I came out with this. And um, also is a stain, but I've worn this literally so much this summer and it's mostly been inside cause it's like way too hot outside to be wearing sweatshirts. But I don't know, I'm just a really big fan of the colors. It's looking like really bright red on camera. It's not quite that bright, but I really like the um, elastic band like at the sleeves and the bottom. And it's got the little quarter zip. Yeah, big fan of this. Last is accessories. So first um, are chokers and I have this one that I got my birthday haul. But also, the one I'm wearing has definitely been my favorite. Um, but yeah, I really love just like a silver choker. And um, also, these hoop earrings have been really doing it for me lately, so. I have some sunglasses. And it's these from Target, actually. And big fan of the shape. And they're not like really pinchy, which is great. And actually, fun story. I got these before I went to Florida, and the first day I was in the ocean, I got like taken over by a wave, and um, yeah, I lost them. So when I got back home, I went to Target and got the same pair. But yeah, so luckily they weren't that expensive, so it's okay. 
And then last would be belts. And um, all of these are from Brandy Melville. The first one is like this fabric kind of material. And I'm a big fan of this because sometimes I feel like belts are really uncomfortable. Um, so I like this material and it just like, you, you know, do the insert here and you like pull this back, which is kind of complicated. But only bad thing is it sounds really noisy when it's like not on. So like when you're in the bathroom, it's like majorly rattling. And then I have this belt and it's got this kind of detailing. This one's probably my favorite look wise. And then this one with the stars, which I love the star pattern. I just wish it was like a little bit thicker because it kind of like, it's either too loose or too tight. Um, and like if it's loose, it's hanging. And then if it's too tight, it's like coming up above, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Um, I like the look of it, like the, the stars and everything, but the way it's like looks on, it's kind of awkward sometimes. But anyway, with that, um, I think that's all my favorites from this summer. I'm sure there were some other things that I forgot to mention, but um, I would say this is kind of the highlight of them, I guess. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and stay tuned for more videos. Bye.